What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing another Vintage Cube Draft here on the Internet Machine, and I'll be your host, Stipulation Jones. But there's no stipulation this time, so maybe that was all a ruse. I just tried to trick you. That was my cunning attempt to trick you. I just blew, and then Hunter was like, I'm out. <laughs> I gotta go. Well, there's a Leovold. But there's also a Mox Sapphire, which we are going to surely take. In a perfect world, this Leovold comes back, or this Tooth and Nail comes back. But in a perfect world, we have a Mox Sapphire, so... <clears throat> This is the best mox, that is correct. Never gonna run around and desert you. Treachery, huh? Treachery. That's gotta be the strongest card in this pack. And it goes well with our mox, our mooks. Sapphire into turn two trooper. That is an option. Uh, Mox Sapphire does allow you to play a turn 2 Talon Trooper. That is no joke. And I don't even think, even if it was a joke, it wouldn't be a funny joke. It's, an, it's a not a funny joke. Do not joke about Talon Troopers. If there was a step to not do a step, would completing it be not completing it? Oh, God. Lesnia Signet's pretty strong. We can go Bant. Oh, I kind of like Bant. But, 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 is Bird of Paradise better? It's, it's probably, it probably dies less. Let's go, let's go Signet. I think Signet's the strongest card in this pack. I think Bird is good, Vraska's good, Doretti's good. Oh, well, Savannah goes, oh, prime time. Primals, McTimals. I, ideally, this Savannah comes back. Rob would probably take this Savannah over anything because that's just how he does. Uh, we're going to take this Primeval Titan. I'll take your life and you'll take mine too. I'll fire your musket but I'll run you through. This is a song called The Trooper by Iron Maiden. There's no reason we're white except for this. So I think we're going to take the Kodama's Reach here. Could have taken Overgrown Tomb. But guys, if we took Overgrown Tomb, what does that say about us? It says that we're just a bunch of salt eye drafts and fools. Harmonize seems great. I do like a good Harmonize. Don't be white. Wow, that's, that's racist AF. No, oh, Tireless Tracker? Like, all these cards are just... Like, the green cards are just the best cards in the pack at this point. Zealous Conscripts is very good, though. And it does allow us to combo. The com bone is connected to the neck bone. We could stay on color and take the tracker, which is kind of... It's kind of boring. Or we can take Zealous Conscripts, which is a very strong card this late. And it does keep us open for Keekums, McJeekums, or Splinters, McTwinums. Got one tracker and one conscripts. Got nine seconds, guys. Eight seconds. Tracker. Two for trackers. Two for tracker. One for the tracker. Two for the show. Narc scripts. Tracker track scripts. Okay, well, that was... That went well. Biogenic Ooze is fantastic. Natural Order could be good in this deck. I think Natural Order is stronger than Ooze. And I don't think anyone in the chat's going to disagree with that. Sometimes you don't get the package you want for uh, natural or but it's still worth trying. Breeding pool and tooth and nail come back. And your boy. Oh wow, this pack is I don't like any of this. It's just tooth and nail. It's got to be Tooth and Nail, right? Like, Tooth and Nail is such a 
better top end card that you only you, you only see once. Lenor Elf or Eternal Witness. Just shake the hand. Oh man, I should have. I think he witnesses better because there are more cards. Oh, all right, now we get Frasco or Garrick. Yeah, Garrick. Savannah. All right, Savannah came back. Overgrown Tomb came back too. Okay. Fascinating. Botanical Sanctum. You good? So now they're like they're like setting us up for either Sultai or Furbant. So that's cool. Are you high, dude? <laughs> I feel like that's my default question for Matt. Hey, Matt, man. You high, dude? J -j 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 that's pretty good. I got it real excited there, guys. I apologize. I want to apologize for getting that excited about Jace the Mind Sculptor. But I'm still going to take it. Because that seems good. Mana Crypt? Who's passing Mana Crypts? Come on. <clears throat> I guess we're taking the Mana Crypt here. Control Magic. That's a good card. We already have a Treachery, though. I probably want the Elvish Mystic at this point. We want more creatures to sack with Natural Order, and we also just want early, early Gentlemen. Uh, you already blew it with Llanowar? Wow. You ever you ever tooth and nail for an Eternal Witness and then use the Eternal Witness to get back the tooth and nail? Come on, buddy. Come on. Sometimes you don't even need to say anything. Shell dock. <laughs> I feel like I have one sneeze per draft, per video. Oh. It's not these. Could be this, could be this, could be this. I think it's probably shell dock. Mm, Venser. Fencer's like the only card we even consider here. Blast Zone's all right. Yeah, I'll take the Fencer. Oof. Carnage Tyrant. Not bad. Scavenging Ooze. Just fine. I'll take the Scavenging Ooze. It seems better in this, in this format. Where I can exile their graveyard things, their shenanigans. Turn one, J-Stream is alive? Oh, like Island Mox Mana Crypt? Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Turn one, Kodama's Reach, also pretty good. Turn one, Garrick Relentless, also fine. Mana Crypt is a busted magic card, guys. Uh, it might be Deranged Hermit just because we do have Natural Order and we also have uh, the Opposition could come back. I'm going to take this and hope the Opposition comes back because no one has any class. That's my hope. <laughs> yeah, I think Walking Ballista is fine. I also don't mind Bloodbraid Elf. We have no way to splash the red. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You people have no class. And Thrag Tusk. Seems good. <laughs> Utterly no respect.
This is a late survival of the fittest, man. I don't know if it's great for our deck, but it's kind of ridiculous. Wow, all the green cards are coming back. This is one of those drafts where, like, we just get it all. I don't think people have read... I don't think they've read Opposition either. Well, there's the Kiki Jiki that we were hoping for. Wilderness Reclamation, is that any good? I don't think so. Dig Through Time seems good, but this is not a deck that's going to have a bunch of things going to the graveyard. It might just be Avacyn's Pilgrim. And then we have Celestia Sign, Avacyn's Pilgrim, <clears throat> and Savannah for splashing a white thing if we want it. Uh, Battlesphere is actually pretty good. We don't have a lot of top end yet. Just you wait. Actually, this is nine. This is eight. This can go here. Yeah, we're going with that guy. Oh, Vivian. Oh, I like that. That seems great. Also, Ancient Tomb. We can go turn one Ancient Tomb, Mock Sapphire, Mana Crypt. And then that doesn't really do much, but we can still do it. I think it's actually Vivian. I like Vivian a lot here, and I want to try it out. So I'm going to take that Vivian. And you know what? Let's be honest. The Ancient Tomb is probably going to just come back anyway. Uh, Jiraga Tree Speaker, probably the pick here. Definitely the pick here. This pack also looks pretty decent for us. Uh, we can take Walking Blist out for now. Not huge on Venser, it's double green. Yeah, Avenger will also probably wheel, so I'm not super concerned with it. Scavenging is going to be in the sideboard. Sorrel the Fittest is meh. <clears throat> what did Foothills is nice? I get Savannah. Uh, it does not get a blue source yet, though. Plow under is always plow. Un plow under is always just brutal. It might not be as brutal in the vintage cube. Maybe it still is. Vivian Reed also very good. Just have multiple Vivians dot deck. Finale of Devastation. We have to have nine mana to really make a Crater Hoof good, or to, to get Crater Hoof. I mean, this seems a little too expensive, actually. I'm probably just going to get Plow Under. I'll take Foothills, in case we do get... Until, in case we get Tropical Island, which I think is very, very unlikely. Uh, I guess we can also get Volcanic Island or Steam Vents, but I don't think those are likely either. I'm just going to take the Sylvan Carry added because I think we want more early mana creatures. We're not going to play Ashiok. We don't have any black mana. What's wrong with you? Are you on drugs? Besides your beautiful voice, you're family friendly, so I can listen to you work without worrying. Yeah, I definitely don't try to. Uh, I, I definitely don't try to make this all awkward and aggressive and 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 profane, like the command. Um, Terastanon's good. It gives us another creature for natural order, which I'm kind of again leaning away from right now. I do just like Arbor Elf. Woodfall Primus I like better than Terastodon, and everyone knows that, so I'm just going to take that guy. And we get one more of these guys, or an, or an Ulamog, to get with our Tooth and Nail. Was that a Hoagland dig? No, not really. I was just literally explaining my stream. Um... Findhorn Elf or Incubation? You're probably Findhorn Elf, right? Like, and I think we're at 16 lands. <clears throat> Reclamation and Avacyn's Pilgrim. And the Kiki Jiki and the Deceiver Exarch are still in the pack. Wow. We could have taken one and the other would still be here. That's pretty funny. Uh, Wilderness Reclamation is actually not bad with Vivian because she gives our creatures flash, so we can actually play a creature, untap our lands, play another creature. That's pretty cool. I'll take this. I'll take Avenger, which we knew would table because that's ridiculous. Probably not playing that. Finale is fine. Master is great. Oh, boy. We need one cut. I think we're going to go 24 lands. <clears throat> Might just be Signet. 
because this is still five early mana sources, which I think is fine. <laughs> sure. I think this is actually probably better than Thrag Tusk, maybe? <laughs> Jesus. Actually, we can probably kind of harmonize for like a Master of the Wild Hunt. Like, we already have Jace and Garrick and Primeval Titan and Vivian. Like, we have a lot of card advantage outside of just a harmonize. Tireless Tracker. Plus, I'd rather have, like, another creature that does things. Yeah, this seems fantastic. <clears throat> uh, Botanical Sanctum. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I mean, Avenger in opposition is gross. Battle Sphere opposition is gross. Dorian Chairman opposition is gross. We have a lot of things that are gross with, with opposition. Yeah, Master of the Wild Hunt's good. Garrick Relentless is good. Garrick Primal, Primal Hunter is good. Any of these creatures that just make a token a turn is pretty good. Um, we're playing two islands because we do want to activate this. It gives us five islands, but we also have uh, Sylvan Carry added, Kodama's Reach. And that's pretty much it. I think this is still fine, though. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, theoretically, we could play... Like, do we really take Treachery, Opposition, and Jace out though, just to play Mono Green? That seems bad. That seems unnecessary, especially with Mock Sapphire. I'll, we'll try it like this. It's only 14 traditional lands, but they have Mana Crypt and Mock Sapphire. This is what's known as the turn three Jace. Oh, can we just draw a Mox Sapphire turn two Jace? Oh, that'd be such an ass. The only weakness I can see is we're weak to flyers. Imagine if our opponent plays Talent Trooper, we can't really block. God, I guess that's true. I hadn't considered the Talent Trooper weakness. Literally watching one of your YouTube vids. Don't do it. Okay, do it. Well, we're definitely just playing Tireless Tracky. Usually I would wait to play this so that we can get some value off of it, guarantee us playing an island, but like if we play this, it forces them to to deal with something before we jace. So if they're gonna have like a removal spell or something, like we can then jace. Let's attack first. I know you're doing a meme. <laughs> oh boy. Um, uh, put that on the bottom of the library. Actually, I have no idea. No, you can have that. I hope you don't need that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna type island, and then they're just gonna play the island. So, oh, they they did not. Okay, so we gave them a card they're not using this turn. Oh, can we Woodfall Primus yet? No. Can we Treachery their Woodfall Primus? No. Um, so what we can do is put one of these back and the Forest back, and then we can play Kodama's Reach 
to shuffle them away. Could have also played Forrest and Garrick. That might have been better. Let's get these two. Uh, put that one into play. Play that one. Play this guy. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Can't actually activate. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, our hand is pretty stacked. We could theoretically draw five cards, play Garrick, crack a clue to draw one card, and then Tireless Tracker is four, so sack Garrick to draw four more. That's a lot of cards. Been a lurking fan for years since you wrote articles and fears about, about Pig Pig Pig. Been enjoying your streams. Glad to see you still since you get Kunster. Thank you so much for saying so, man. I really appreciate it. I actually just had an article go up yesterday on CoolStuffInc.com. You can check that out. Uh, it's about pigs. It's about uh, Ilharg the Raised Boar and Enray's Forerunners in Standard. So definitely check those guys out. And if you use promo code FRANK5, you will get 5% off. So... So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This looks like eight to me. I'm gonna put you back and maybe you back. Do you wanna play a land? Let's get busy attacking. We can also just play Garrick and kill this. I kinda wanna get rid of the coalition relic though. The deck was definitely sweet. We actually had some pretty good results with it. It was definitely fun to play for sure. This feels more likely to resolve through like a remand and we can always cast it again. Oh, we just win. I guess they're like, if I don't have my bar my Baral, I can't win. So we win that game. We win this game, you see. When did we get this him to Torok? <laughs> it feels random. I didn't even recognize it. I was like, wait, what is this? Why is this here? We just played off Overgrown Tomb and, uh, you know, Sylvan Carry added. Yeah, I don't think we're boarding anything. Sc scavenging Ooze is mildly decent because it can exile, like, Past and Flames and stuff like that, but. Um, this is still a turn three Jace. <clears throat> Which is exciting, but it, hopefully it's good enough. If we draw a mana crypt, it's, uh, it's a turn two, Jace. We did not draw those things that I, I mentioned. I don't know who Stavro Halkiaz is. I don't know who that is. I'm going to Google that, though. Trinket Mage. Wow. <laughs> huh. What did they get? They got a Lotus? Huh. Welp. Sometimes you natural order. Killing all your things. Let's get rid of your black mana. Let's see if that does anything for you. We could have also gotten Primeval Titan, but I don't think that really does much. Hmm.
Aha. Uh -huh. So, let's try this guy. Nice back here. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Uh, let's look at. Let's always take a peek first. Put this guy to five. Uh, Baral, I'll put that dude on the bottom for sure. Well, we're trying to win the game, so I might as well get in there with this with this fat gentleman. If they happen to have like a lightning bolt, we only have Lotus in hand, so they're gonna hold that until they can go off. Oh, nice back here. Yeah, you know what they say about Woodfall Primus. Damn, boy, he thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. Ba -ba! That's about right. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh god. Triple ritual? Trich tritual? Yogmoss will. Oh, you dirty biscuit. Is there a better card to have gotten than Woodfall Promise? I don't think so. Yeah, this is why we wanted scavenging ooze. Yeah, we'll bring that dude in. Wow, their Minds and Sire is actually not that great. Because they have no graveyard, Because so the regrowth is bad. So they have basically preordained treasure crews. Treasure crews is good. But it's kind of not... I mean, they really have to hit here. I mean, all they have to do is find tendrils, I guess, and then we're dead, so... Just can't kill me. They have five cards. They have four cards. They got Rituals McGee over here. That guy was on the bottom. And then now he's not. Tendrils? You just have it. You just have it. Yogmoth's bargain. Doretti. You have no graveyard. Brain freeze for 15, which is how much? 45 cards. Yep, let's go to the next game. We have no Eldrazi in our deck. And I'd rather them not see the, the deck. So we're going to bring in Skews. Actually, Opposition still seems good against them. Probably take out Avenger of Zendikar. Imagine if you had the new Jace there. Well, I don't think it's in the cube, so. I will play first. This hand seems terrible. This seems much better. Does big treach seem good? What is treachery? I don't, actually nothing. Treachery is pretty bad. Put that on top for sure. Treachery is terrible. I'm surprised I didn't just trade Treachery for the other dude. Yeah, that was a pretty good that was a pretty good series of events.
Tails never fails. Tails failed. Okay. Well, we know we're going to hit this guy. Uh, natural or for sure. Ooh, tooth and nail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that's real close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're so close. We're so close. I guess if. No, we're not going to be able to get it. <sighs> Coalition Relic. Heads. One flip. So good. So good. Oh, man. Man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we if they don't win next turn, we do. So close, dude. <laughs> so close. I mean, we just have to hope they don't go off this turn, I guess. Heads never embeds. Is that true? I don't know how embedding works, so... I'm not an embedding man. Here we go. Ready to lose the game. Six mana, seven cards. What more can they... Uh, heads never embeds. A loss into your record of coin flip victories. <laughs> You know, it's a little it's a little wordy, but you know. It's still good, I think. Six mana, six cards. What could go wrong? We could die. We could die. Burning down the house. Could we also natural order and kill something in response? Oh, wow. If that's your play, I think we just win. <laughs> I think you're dead. Drop to two and discard two. Yeah, we can Woodfall Primus something. But I feel like they're using a lot of mana here. And we are going to tooth and nail their entire life away. Come on, we can do it. Come on. Oh, and they just put a charge counter on, so they're like, you know what? I got nothing. Aren't they just dead on board? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, they ain't dead on board. Nah. Heads, never deads. I lost the flip. So random. Now we can play around days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. This guy. Let's get Crater Hoof and Woody Boy. That'll do, pig. That'll do. We did it. Guys, our deck did it. We are the best there ever was. Like no one ever was. To crush them is my real test. 
To train them is my cause. Thank I'll you. travel. GM Miller, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Also, if you guys haven't done so, definitely consider subscribing or following. You can click those buttons way up there on the top, and it helps support the content you are enjoying right now. All the videos go up on YouTube. You can check manatraders.com, and you'll get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. They're an awesome service that I personally use myself for uh, borrowing uh, magic online cards, and you can also use them to borrow physical paper magic cards as well for decks. So uh, all these all these crazy ways to support the stream. You can also go to my Patreon page and be like, you know what, I don't want to give you $5 for a subscription on Twitch, despite the fact that it helps keep you alive. Uh, instead, I will donate $1 on Patreon per month, because that is basically nothing. And it's just another way to support me, so. Oh. Oh, wow. I could have also played Tireless Tracker, then played Land. This guy might just die, actually. Fertile, fertil, fertile Zor is a Pokemon that's just a bag of fertile. I actually can't tell if that's real or not. Do you know that there's a Pokemon that's... Yes, I, I, I'm familiar with the Nicki Minaj Pokemon. I, I am familiar with what the the one you are referring to. Head's never dead. Head never dead. I lost the flip against the red deck. It's not ideal. I'm actually going to keep this master up. I don't think I need to deal three. And if they play any kind of hasty boy, I'd like to be able to deal with it. One, two, three. Tireless Tracker and Mystic. If we, just, if we just draw opposition too, it's pretty good. I don't care about that. Okay, so maybe you're not mono red. Maybe you're like some kind of some kind of amalgamation. Heads won the flip. Yes, heads never deads. Give me one of these guys. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have nothing to play this turn, so. One, two, three, four. We only have four mana there. Um, at this point, we're just attacking with these guys. Yeah, next turn is probably game because we can play opposition. We'll have like 7,000 dudes. And uh, if we don't die here somehow, then, you know. What's happening here? This is where they go fiery confluence, kill everything. No, seething song. Okay. Is this just another storm deck? Are we just facing back to back storm decks? Oh, sure. Yeah, this is fine. That will not do it. Heads, lost the flip. Um, one, two. So we can actually go one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, we can do this. Let's get busy reaching. Yeah, Master of the Wild Hunt said four mana, make your opponent discard two cards and put two two twos into play. Yeah. 
And that'll do. <laughs> Once you see that opposition, what you done? I still don't know what they're playing. Like, Walking Ballista and Seething Song were like the only cards that were really super relevant that we saw. I'll draw across the bay. Do we miss Lethal? Was I so exciting about just tapping down their things that I that I could have killed them? Uh, multiple players can have the same card. This is a league. This is not a it's not a, a an eight man pod. Mulligan. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll keep that on top for sure. Why do they get to keep seven cards? That doesn't seem fair. That's not fair. So the turn two because I was reached turn three natural order seems good if this guy survives. He did not. <laughs> Searching far and wide. Each Pokemon to understand the treachery inside. Walking bullet stuff for one. Doesn't do anything. I wish I had a creature that would do a thing for me. We're just going to Vivian. We're going to plus Vivian here. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, they used the new mulligan roll for a while, and now that they have tested it, they wanted to make the determination. So, so it is no longer it is no longer uh, in practice on Magic Online. Uh, what is my opinion of the mulligan rule? Uh, I haven't had an, I haven't looked at enough data to really have a an opinion on it. I think it seems sweet in practice, but I think there are definitely archetypes that uh, benefit from it very, very heavily. Here comes Jason Mind Sculptor. Duretti again. Interesting. Hmm. One, two, three, four, four. We're in a six mana, so we can hit, if we can hit any creature. Any green creature that costs two or less, which we have like four of left in the deck. Three one drops and a Sylvan carry added. Then we can natural order. Well, deranged hermit does provide that. Uh... Hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just going to. Horizon Spoiler should start next Monday. I think you should go up in cards each time you mulligan. I think every time you mulligan, you should get one talent trooper in your hand. And it replaces just a generic card. They discarded Worm Coil and light up the stage. 
I mean, I got a treachery, so I ain't, I ain't, I ain't scared, and I got a natural order. I ain't got no fear. I'm fearless. Attack with your little burlista. Ballista, barista. Deranged hermit at instant speed. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So you can shoot here, shoot here, and I'll just block it. We can block with one squirrel, because then if he shoots here, then it just trades a squirrel to range tournament, which is totally fine. But yes, getting this getting this off the board uh, to prevent them from activating to ready to get Worm Coil back is definitely what we wanted. Yep, kill that guy, and now they still trade. Seems good. <laughs> Stop! He's already dead. Wow. Does that do anything? Let's find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I mean, this is just better than this, right? It's really sad the opposition's there, but all right. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's hit Doretti in the face in his stupid goblin face. Could we just killed them? Could we have played that guy natural ordered into a greater hoof? Five, six, seven, eight... I think we could have just killed them. <laughs> I think we just could have killed them. Oh, man. Feels bad. I just wasn't doing math. And now I feel bad. Let's go face and we'll just kill the stupid Doretti. Oh, God. Yeah, now we're just going to suck it up. I don't think they're going off with three cards in hand and no Doretti, so. Wow. What were we thinking? Let's just pretend we don't have Tireless Tracker. I don't even, or uh, Crater Hoof. We don't even have that card. I don't even know what you're talking about. Wait, where is the... Wait, where is the... What the fuck? There it is. Why is it here? <laughs> Did it just, like, go away while they were... Was it hidden underneath that? Oh, that's so weird. Why is my exile zone here? Wait, why isn't this my exile zone? What's going on? I'm very confused. See, again, I played this guy when I could have just waited. I, I feel... I really use... I forget about the flash ability. Are they just passing here? Fascinating. 
Oh, they're just going to concede. Okay. Well. All right. Seems good. Sometimes you just win them all, guys. Sometimes they're like, you can't win them all. And then sometimes I'm like, you sure can. I will keep this. Any land lets us play Tracker or Witness. Just can't win any with Wildfire. Yeah, maybe that's true. Maybe this cube is not friendly toward. I think you need a lot of a lot of artifacts. Jay Bolada, thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Give me a land. Don't kill this. Oh, don't do it. Oh, that's who cares about that. Okay, well now we're in bad shape. Oh boy. Do you think when talent troopers feed their young, they do the weird bird vomiting in each other's mouth thing? You mean regurgitating? Uh, I, you know. Huh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, you know, why not? I don't like this. Was that baby talk? I don't like this. Ha ha ha. Oh, Lord. Oh, they just played that Rick's Maddie Reveler without actually, uh... It is to show my innocence in the situation. <laughs> oh, wow, you're just gonna kill that guy? <laughs> Buddy, I'm already hitting lands. I don't even care. Buddy, I don't even care, land. I told you. You done messed up, A.A. Ron. Widow Andy's afraid. What is that from? What was that for like Toy Story? <laughs> we got like a little Toy Story meme there. That's cool. You're just killing all my guys, and that's really kind of cool. I'm really enjoying it. Human Shaman Orc Warrior. I mean, this is, like, not the worst red deck we've ever dealt with. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I feel like we're in bad shape. Oh, yeah, okay, I know that. Yeah, that's... Stop it. Stop talking like that. Oh, yeah, we're just going to go to the next. Uh, we take, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's probably more than I'm good at. Uh, I guess if we draw... Yep, hoping for a blue. No blue. Okay, so next in we bring in Thrag Tusk, Scavenging Ooze, all the life gainy creatures. Are we just going to lose to Mono Red? Scavenging ooze. We can take out some of these big fat idiots. Treachery is probably not great here. Opposition is probably a little too slow. We can actually probably just board into mono blue to be quite or mono mono green here. Uh, I also kind of like wooded foothills, which I didn't consider because we have Eternal Witness. Uh, 
38, bring in Thraggy Boy. Oh, Thraggy Boy. Oh, Thraggy Boy. Could bring in Celestia Signet or uh, Survival of the Fittest. Yeah, we also have Tracker with Fetch. Yeah, I could see bringing in Ballista. We could also bring Final, Final Finale of Devastation in order to get things like uh, Thrag Tusk, but this is probably fine. I was talking to some newest Magic players, and they were all trying to argue how any blue deck is the most oppressive deck in standard. New Magic players. You kids. Uh, keep? This is a turn two Thrag Tusk if we... No, it's not. It's a turn three Thrag Tusk. We're going to actually... We'll keep that. That's fine. Just kill this guy immediately. Wow, that's rude. That's just so rude. Ideally, we drop Master of the Wild Hunt followed by Forest, and then they can't win. Skull Klizump. Man, if they didn't kill this Finhorn Elves, game would be over. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a that's a combo. Double block, I dare you. No blocks whatsoever. It's got a woodfall primus, right? How do they deal with that? Thank you. Could also go Avenger of Zendikar. Bill Brown, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Forty one months. That is an unreasonable amount of time. Avenger of Zendikar seems great. I want to get the I want to get rid of the Skull Clamp though because if they're just like relying on this to now they have to pay four for this idiot and do nothing else. Yeah, sure. I mean, if I was gonna get Squirrel Dude, I'd rather just get Avenger of Zendikar this turn. We're also at twenty three, and these goblins just have to sacrifice themselves for the for the greater good. Seems good. Oh. Uh, we're actually not going to crack now because we can get a free Garrick next turn. They're at nine. Sure. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, I'd rather lose this if they have like a bolt effect. So. And we're at 24. That's healthy. That is a healthy... If we try to kill this, they can pump it one. So 
actually might just want to make a guy. But then they could pump it twice and just kill Garrick, so. Eh, I think that's actually fine, because then we just have a bunch of dudes. Yeah, that's fine. We can kill this. I mean, they 100% pump it. Oh, they didn't pump it. That's great. Oh, Avenger? All right. Well, that's a good one. So now we have three blockers. They're going to have five attackers. I mean, if we attack with both of these, they have to block, and I don't really care. Team Jabra, what's going on, my dude? Are you going to triple block? Are you going to quad block this guy? You know it comes back, right? Oh, it's got trample, so you got to take four, five, six, yeah. Well, it's whatever. This guy's, uh, what in the earth? None of this is good. Don't do any of these things. What? Okay. Uh, sure. Block like this. I don't understand. This guy has... What the f... Huh. Huh. That was, a, that was a strange block. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. That was something. That was something. Survival could be decent. I don't know if we have time to to really utilize a survival plan. Let's see how many let's see how many trophies Team Jabro has. I literally don't know how you do it, but you know. I guess I can't. I guess I can't check right now because I'm in the middle of my I guess if, if I just could double click on it, it brings it back to the old thing. So alright, well. It's probably like 17. Look at this the Corsair and Thrag Tusk against the red deck. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get down to business. Lightning Bolt? Nice. I guess it is only two days in, so not much yet. All right, I'll get it. I'll, I'll give you time. I believe in you. Are they gonna are they gonna seriously sack walking ballistic kill this mystic? <laughs> wow, this is like this is amazing. So we draw another Findhorn Elves. We can play that, which is nice because it guarantees us five mana. Sure. We do have to find a way to deal with the shrine, though. Oh, that's very good. I combined mad with aggro. You sure did, buddy. You sure did. I just deranged Hermit here. I think we throw... Uh, yeah, we can just deranged Hermit here. Yeah, they can probably sack this guy pretty easily.
Oh, that's fantastic. They shrined the, the Findhorn Elves? Oh, that's great. Um, This guy just dies anyway, so... Sure. It's better than losing a squirrel. A squirrel. Oh, wow. Get in that shrine out of there. Talent Trooper, have a good night, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. Really? Really? <sighs> Seems good. What a miracle. Uh, I don't really want you to draw two. I'm going to take five. Uh, yeah, we're dead. All right. Oh, the preemptive good game. Yeah. Cool, dude. Cool. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check out on manatraders.com. You can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and the promo code in my description below. You can also use uh, meundies.com slash franklaport to get 15% off. And slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.